We want to make healthcare suicide safe. Uh, this may sound like a, a idea that should have been taken care of a long time ago, but uh, tragically, it's not. We call our approach zero suicide in uh, healthcare, and it's strange that healthcare hasn't really focused on people who are suicidal, except perhaps in emergency departments or in inpatient psychiatric units. But strangely also, the suicide prevention field hasn't focused very much on health care. And we've come to understand that health care isn't safe. It was said years ago that 100,000 Americans died every year because of errors in the health care system. These are mostly what I would call errors of commission, a wrong medicine, um, or a failure uh, to uh, follow through on somebody who had just received uh, treatment. But of the 40,000 Americans who die by suicide every year, I think there are many preventable errors as well. There are errors of omission. We fail to ask. If we ask, we fail to stay with somebody who is uh, concerned about hurting themselves through their moment of crisis. We don't follow up with them uh, when they're in transitions. We don't develop a personal plan that they and their family can use to keep them safe. This is not acceptable anymore. It's time to ask for health care to be made suicide safe. Making health care suicide safe or working towards zero suicide in health care uh, does look a little different in different sectors of health care. Uh, it's perhaps most important in mental health programs where many people do live with concerns about uh, self-harm. Uh, and where, surprisingly, not all mental health programs are set up to pay attention to suicidality, to help people through difficult transitions, to stay with them, for example, after they've been in an emergency department or uh, a hospital, or to reach out and touch them during that transition. A giant area of concern is primary care, where half uh, of the individuals who have died by suicide, we know, have seen a primary care physician in the last... 30 days. For older men, uh, this is a stunning 70 percent. That is, almost three quarters of older men who die by suicide have seen a primary care physician in the last uh, 30 days. Primary care operates uh, on a very fast speed. Doctors don't have enough, enough time to spend with people. So one of the things that is very important to improve suicide care in primary care is to begin to introduce behavioral health uh, people like social workers or psychiatric nurses into primary care settings where they're available uh, for the doctor to immediately set up a uh, visit and where we can expect that good suicide care can al also be provided. And we believe that healthcare organizations like uh, hospital chains or integrated delivery systems as they're called or accountable care organizations should work to make themselves suicide safe across their whole continuum of uh, care, from primary care to the emergency department to their psychiatric uh, programs uh, and inpatient units, um, a lot has to be done. We've now built, with the help of the Suicide Prevention Resource Center, a website at www.zerosuicide.com that contains all the elements and tools that any healthcare organization would need to uh, attempt this uh, approach. So this is an approach whose time has come. We believe that every healthcare system should be moving in this direction. The healthcare delivery system is where people are at risk. It's where people, in many cases, can be saved. And it's where we have to do more.